It's love. The final. So the, the final box opponent. rush has ended. The Golden God IBDW stomps out Hungry Box in third place. Dang. His name is now written. Add add his body to the top of the pile. Yeah, that's right. And now the final confrontation. This is the fun. Golden God of Melee who's been cast down into the underworld. Oh. And up there is Slug, who just crawled out of a ditch somewhere. A real fighter. He- uh, let's Ice let's remind you know we've had so many people jumping into the stream midway. Let's remind them why we're even using this narrative. Slug is a slug is an ice climbers player. Chat in two thousand and twenty two, my friends rose to prominence after the wobbling era. The to my knowledge, the only prominent ice climbers post wobbling. I didn't even know who he was when wobbling was legal. In in a world where every other icy said, "I f this," you know, it's not worth it. Like, dang, I can't. Because listen, your army, right? This was something we really got into it when army came up for the yes, reason, and, and he was really bearing his 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 emotions and his. Are you sharing what we all knew, but no one had said? Because you're sitting there as an ISIS player, and you're saying, "Okay, if you ban wobbling, does that mean that like all of the wins I got for the past few years, like, are you basically saying that none of those were valid? That, like, as, as if my whole career didn't happen? Is that is that what you're saying? That is a brutal reality and a brutal, um, I guess, concept to come to grips with." the invalidation of, of everything you've worked so hard for slug the first, maybe the first of many, but also maybe the last time will tell ice climbers to rise out of the ashes of wobbling. And so he's, he's used to this world where, where, you know, he has to take what he can get. He gets a grab. If you've he's only the ever, you've never seen the color red. You've only had it explained to you in every which way, right? You never giver. experienced wobbling such that you have to really let it go. Yes. You, you you only have heard about it, right? Is what uh, you're, that's, that's what you're Yes. That, but that's kind of the mental image you're giving me right now, Tove, is that he grew up, you know, Slug grew up just hearing myths about wobbling. He never really experienced it, so it's not hard to let go of it. It's not like right, a privilege right, right. lost. Yeah. And okay, it's just I'm, I'm we're saying this. Of life. And I'll and I'll say that like, okay, it's possible that he played when wobbling was legal, but he wasn't getting wins like that, right? He wasn't beating top, top, top players. I never heard. I never saw him in winners finals. Definitely. I'll tell you that right now. Beating H Fox, beating Cody. We do have. I I do got to shout out Pudgy Pan and Lunar Dusk, but I don't think they're. I, I think they're, they're. They are solid players. That is true. Pudgy Pan and Lunar Dusk, two good ice climbers players. Uh, but shout out to all the ice climbers no. players that are rising from the ashes. But regardless, if any of them are here, we're we're gonna. But yeah, you're right. There's a band of them. There's a couple the of beacon. them. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, right with now, war paint, torch is, with war paint, torch is being held by Slug. Slug is coming warm. out of the underground, you know, saying we're taking it back. We can do it. We got our backup by our side. We're gonna grab you and maybe get sixty percent off some weird upsmatch stuff, and yeah. we're gonna take that sixty percent, take it to the bank. We're gonna don't treat, let us grab you by the way. We're gonna treat Chief like it's Mr. Game and Watch, like it's a full character who just kind of yeah. sucks. Yeah. And we're also going to, it's going to be Mr. Game Watch powered up sometimes though with a backup. This You'll is a real that. character. You'll take that. Plus sometimes we can do these crazy handoffs. Come on, dude. Our predictions, we're running predictions for the channel right now. And dang, they are in Slug's favor. IBW does have to win two sets, but of course, IBW is such a strong player. I think the Golden God of Melee is going to take it to a second set. I just have a feeling, Tove. He's good. He's a good player. He's a good player. I don't know how it Can ends, Slug but do it. I feel like it's going to go the distance. Can Slug do it? I love, I love that, I love that Slug, uh, I don't know. I just love that he is doing what he's doing. I think it's such a um, yeah, yeah. It's such an inspiration. I think the people are conglomerating like they never have before. For one night, can Ices be the hero? This is unfathomable, by the way. We're I talking mean, about the practical, the practicals in the practical sense. Ices are at a disadvantage right now, right, compared to the wobbling era. Yeah, but from from the perspective of the narrative, could the Ices ever be the hero in 2017? Dude, they uh, no, they couldn't. But now, 
but now they can. They already are the heroes right now. I think that Ice Climbers as a character is what the fact that Slug is here is wins the heart. It has to win your heart because this game's hard enough as it is. Yeah, it is inspirational. The new blood is always inspirational too. As as things as new as new things grow, it's just beautiful. Yeah. And this is an ice cloud. This is a little seed growing in the in a in a in a devastated geography. Yeah. <laughs> it's just yeah. A, it's, have you there's is that the movie Children of Man where like they couldn't have where where like you couldn't have any new babies? Is that the right movie that I'm thinking of? Children, hey, children a, of I God. I haven't seen that one. Children, children of, of God. God. Children of Men. God, God of Children. It's something like that. And it's like a world where like you can't have kids anymore, but there's like one kid was born. And there's like a battle scene or whatever, like a war zone. But then they hear the baby crying and everybody stops. And it's like, oh, shit. Wait, how there are they going to... How's, how's mankind going to survive if... Well, it's like they weren't. They don't know. But that's this new life. Gonna, oh. This new life everybody respected. Nobody's going to be shooting anything with this, this new life around. There was like a moment like that. Anyway. Dang. Hey, everybody, take a moment while we're waiting for this like grand finals. Just go... Hop on over. I'm sure our producer will put a link in the chat to youtube.com slash flyquest. And just, uh, you know, all of the tournament highlights are going to be on there. Um, just go give them your, your little follow. I know it's called a subscription. I don't like calling it a subscription because in the Twitch world, that means you got to pay money. You don't have to pay money. You just click on a button, sub button. Not a big deal. Yeah. Just just a little thing you can do real quick. And I know that our it's producer is going to put that It's good to do. It's definitely good to do. If you have it, you should use it for sure. Yeah, just do it, you know? Hell yeah. Yeah, it's like the probably the most financially impactful button you can push. You do you're, it's not free obviously because you're paying for Prime. But if you're already paying for Prime, no, I'm I'm saying for the YouTube sub, the YouTube sub is free. Oh, the YouTube sub is free, but if you've got a Prime sub, then you might as well you got because it not you might as well, you definitely should. It's dope. Yeah, to use it. Uh, no one can, you know, you can use it on whoever you want, but just don't not use it, right? I think I don't use my Prime, so I could probably use my Prime here right there's now, but a, I, if I can't you log are, in. If you don't use your in, Prime, so. here's what they don't tell you, here's what they don't tell you. If you don't, if you're not using your Prime, you are using your Prime. You're using it directly to Jeff Bezos. Actually, I think it's Jassy now. Most people are subbed to Andy Most Jeff. people are subbed to Andrew Jassy, who I believe Evan used to directly report you to. You want to change your sub away from an Amazon overlord and towards... A community member, Aaron and ideally. Obrek. Yeah. Like KTIP13 just did with the Prime. I mean, That's right. you know, we're just, we're trying to make it happen, you know? As I've been saying, I've, I worked at Twitch for almost nine years. And why did I work there? Because there's no way to make money. <laughs> there was no way to make money as a player. Besides, like, winning tournaments was just, oh, my God. There's no money in winning tournaments. Yeah. Um, and you have to be the best player to like, you know what I mean? You can't show yeah. up and get second at a bunch of tournaments and like, I don't know, man. It's not realistic. It's it's, it's winner take all. Like, yeah. No, we're not yeah. using Smash Bros tournaments to decide how we separate the resources, fellas. <laughs> yeah, it's too, it's just too tough. Not, not a good way to divide resources. Um, IBW starting off strong here. Yeah, we want to we wanna be able to help people out. People like, uh, you know, Sheridan and Bobak from, from the Genesis mm -hmm. team who, you know, are two of the most impactful people in the Smash scene, period. Right? I mean, Genesis, yeah. I don't know if Melee would be here with them. But I think yeah, it's Genesis fun. is a, it's like if you think about the Melee community as something that's living, which it has, it's a living tradition. Yeah. Um, Genesis is something that was built like very long ago. It's part of the root and its brand. Mm. I think is important for like the brand of the melee community. Yeah. Um, it shows our dedication to the game, and I don't know. Yeah, I think Genesis is super important. Is my point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that it exists. We'll be there in about a month. I love that it that the colors are black and red. I like how like clean melee. the design is. Ooh, yeah. What do you mean by that. The melee disc, right? It's like I guess it is. Red. Yes, it is. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I never noticed that. It is true that, like, in in the game, like in the menus, it's it's not melee is not really black and red theme uh, from a colorway perspective. I wouldn't say it's a color. But in the on the disc, it sure is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, IBW. Jeez, dude. I mean, he took the lead really early, but slug. 
Man. <laughs> what an insane gamer. Oh, what a knockdown. Yeah, Dang, what okay, good slide off. Okay, every other Icy's in the world, they go for that wave dash jab and they just autopilot the grab after it. Kind of hoping for the jab grab. Slug is like, Slug is, he is actually super locked in right now. Oh my God, catching the DI away. Is he just gonna take this game one? Sitting on the Slug throne right now. There's two thrones. They had to make one for the queen, for the backup. Oh my goodness, there's two mm. thrones, Tove. Or do they both there. just sit on one? No way. They have to make another no way. They have Maybe they have like a little divider that you could put between the two seats. A partition. You know? So they're like a partition. So that they don't have to build new. That just sounds like a job to me. Sounds like yeah, someone has, has, to, has to, to build a new throne every time you win a tournament. Yeah. Or Someone's take over a kingdom. <laughs> Someone's on a, it. They've got a, a Ice Climbers partition. Oh. IBW, they're a little bit hasty on the Shine Spike. They go in, invulnerable when you start that upbeat. <gasps> Oh, what a knockdown! Up here! Oh my god. Oh my god. There's still two. Slug oh, has such a... He has such a, like, refined... Neutral. I feel like a lot of... There's a lot of these spots where I'm expecting him to just go into, like, some decent ice... A lot of ices will go into, like... They're just like, okay, it's time to do some decent ice blocks. Or, like, you know, kind of throw something out. He's, like, always... <gasps> You got him. No. Nice job, IBW. Watch out! The backup's coming! Okay. He ran away. He ran coming. away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, good stuff to Cody. You just gotta to run away from that thought. backup, dude. Yeah. Just to finish my thought, I think that the way Slug plays neutral sometimes, it, it reminds me of, like, this old, um, and I think really intelligent logic that Fox players would kind of throw around, which was, like, sometimes Foxes shoot too many lasers. They're just like, mm -hmm. oh, Okay, I'm on the other side of stage. Time to time to start lasering. Right. When and then people would say, you know, if you're what you really should be doing is start start that like dash dance, like use that space advantage. You don't care about getting five more da a, a percent in terms of right. laser damage. And I I feel like the way Slug positions himself. Obviously, this is kind of a weird time to be talking about it as he's getting his ass beat here and on the first talk of FD. But I, I feel like the way he plays it. neutral is is analogous. Yeah. He's always positioning himself for like the next neutral exchange. In favor of like, oh, I'm gonna throw some ice blocks at you, or, or blizzards, or what have you. <sighs> mm. Dang, it kind of looks like. Yeah, I have no idea. I never wanted. I don't want to make calls anymore, Tove. I really don't know. Hard. I uh, yeah. Hard to know. It's just so easy. I think sometimes I, we have a. You know what it is? We have this book. Uh, it's like a Godzilla book. Mm. And I read it to Donato sometimes. It's actually kind of violent. But whatever. Okay. Um, and they have like Godzilla versus Rodan. It's like two monsters fighting. And the commentators on the news in this like visual novel thing, they're like, oh yeah, these like these two beasts are clearly like going to be working together. And then they fight each other. And they're like, oh yeah, no, we knew it that they weren't. They weren't gonna do that. They were gonna oh. fight you. And it's like it is, actually is very true. It's so easy to just watch what you just watched and just react to it and have no history of what you said. Not even having the self awareness to like. No accountability. There's no accountability, dude. In the media, you can play things off, and if you just keep it chill, nobody will notice. What a grab, Toaf. Dang. People want accountability. Uh, the people should want accountability because that's how we get better. That's how we get better, right? If IBDW is not um, is not mm. hitting these nair nair up smashes versus slug, then slug's not accountable to getting hit by those nairs. But in the game, we keep each other accountable by hitting our punishes. We yeah. maintain oh. accountability, and that's how we get better. But if, yeah. we're, if we're slacking on our accountability, then we won't actually get better. We'll get lazy. You know, I've actually thought about this from the perspective of... Actually, Icy's is a great example here. As a commentator, sometimes there's no accountability, Tove. I could be getting away because with no murder. one, no one punish games. No one keeps us in no, check. No That's where you game. come in, chat. That's where you come in. That's where chat comes in, exactly. That's right. I've had one tab on chat this whole time. Sometimes chat's like, y'all are this bullshit. You guys are wrong. I saw one guy say slug played during the wobbling era, and so I, and so I said, you okay, yourself. maybe you correct the exactly. record. Exactly. I wanted to say what I, like, what I really want to emphasize is not that maybe he started in the wobbling era, but he certainly 
got really prominent outside of and, the Wobbling Land. And also, you're and creating I think that's an a important... story with limited information, Toph. Mm -hmm. We can always get more information, but nobody's got all of it. Yeah. We're just trying to create this well, one beautiful story together. Mm -hmm. What is the truth of Melee? We all want to know. What is it telling us? I love your accountability with um, Punish Game Example. It's true, my friend. I actually have, have you always ever... been talking about that, Loki. So Ices, Ices is an excellent example because I always used to feel I'd be fighting Ices players. Mm -hmm. And I, I used to have this thought, which is like, do I really, in friendlies, do I really need to sit there and wait out the whole wobble? Like, for the purposes of getting better, shouldn't shouldn't we just like, you know, let's like keep it moving. Like, shouldn't we just go to the next stop? But I think that like having to eat that punish and sit there and really feel it does make you a better competitor. Mm. Similarly, like with other characters, right? Like, couldn't, can't I get better playing someone who isn't punishing me op optimally? But I feel like the threat of the optimal punish when I'm fighting somebody who I know is has the potential to zero to death me if they open me up is going to make me work so much harder, even just subconsciously in neutral. And that's going to make me uh, improve faster when I when I practice, when I play friends. That's accountability. That is accountability. Can he kill back? <gasps> what a... Oh. Toph, that was almost threading the needle of of all fate. But uh, this fox boot is a lot of damage. Oh! Man. Did he know? Ooh. Did he do that on purpose? Did he actually wave shine chief and then realize that if I don't turn around for the up smash, I will I will just kill the backup. If that was intentional, that was a genius move. That was a big. That was a non big brain move. Oh, tactical roll, CQC. Metal Gear Solid 3. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 we're going to set two. The golden god of melee just shined his radiance. Yeah. And just pulled Slug down back into, we thought we escaped. Slug yeah. thought that he escaped this dark reality. No. Yes. He's got to have to do it the hard way. You've been pulled back in. This is the loser's ultimate finals. What is oh, this, called? Is this oh. called Grand Final Set Two? Is that all we call it? It's called Grand Final Set Two. I've seen other. I seen the. I've seen. I've seen other tournaments call it. I've. I've seen True Finals. True Finals. FTC. I've seen Shin Finals. Shin Grand Finals. Shin Finals. Shin, Shin, Shin just Grand means Finals. True, but it's like Shin just means true, but it's in Japanese, so it sounds cooler. It does Shin sound cooler. Grand Finals. The loser truly loses. Here we are. We're going into Shin Finals. Dang. Ah, I've also seen Deadass Finals. That's another good one. Deadass Finals is a good one. These are really good. That's an East Coast thing, though. I feel like Trading Mode Tuesdays West Coast can't be Deadass Finals. That's got to be like Hella Finals. I like Shin Finals. It's Deadass Finals and Hella Finals. Hella Finals. That's that's that would be that's like a NorCal Grand Hella Finals. Hella yeah. Finals. Hella Finals. Yeah. East Coast East Coast is Deadass. West Coast is Hella. They're taking a moment to collect themselves, which I, I think if you're slow, I don't, I don't I mean, even for Cody, like, I think like definitely take a moment between sets. This is, uh, it's not a good look when you don't take a moment. Ugh. What do we think is going to happen? Is it even worth talking about? Like we can't, we don't know. I think it had to go to a second set. You did, you did call it. And I think it's a good prediction i think cody is the kind of guy just you know hitting the brakes here a little bit assessing what kind of players there are. i do think cody's the kind of guy if you can give him a little bit of preparedness a little bit of matchup uh knowledge i suppose um he's gonna perform a lot better and now i think the onus is back on slug back on slug to do some crazy stuff to just get locked in mm -hmm. all right here we are back on fountain need an early lead here i think i think you really really want to start for both these both these players this is definitely a matchup do you feel this way with falcon actually as fox against ices i always felt like this is a it's just really nice to have the lead more so than okay obviously that's the case in every matchup but like more so than in a lot of other but especially in this people. in this yeah ices puff right well because you're never safe if you don't have the lead right you could yeah. just get deleted. 
I don't know if you especially felt too. Way, Falcon, but... I mm. did. If I get grabbed, I'm gonna die. I mm. really hated playing versus climbers. I couldn't handle the stress. Um, and there was a point in my career where I I did kind of learn how to how to swing with it, but most of the time, it's pretty stressful for me to play climbers because of the it's a devastating punish if you get grabbed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Shield grab not reaching there. That really, really, really high I traction, low traction. Mm. I don't like the feeling that like I know what you're going for and you got it anyway. You know? Oh. Wait, elaborate on that. <laughs> like I know you're fishing for a grab, for example, if you're uh, ice climbers. And so I'm just trying to play around grab, but, and I know you're just gonna spam it and you get it anyway. It's just a salty, it anyway. it's a salty feeling that I get. When, when you're fighting, grabbed. when you're fighting Mewtwo King on FD, and he just yes! he just does this, and he's I'm just like, grabbing what the it thin air. Man, are you serious? Like, dude, that worked. On. Yeah, it's and, like, and it works because of the punish, right? It works because mm. of the punish. Mm. The punish unlocks the ability to play like that because each one of those grabs or what have you might be a uh, losing battle, but <laughs> all you need is one. Mm. Unfortunately, Slug's not getting one. Cody is playing this so, oh man. And yes, just using the platforms to break up the pace, break up the rhythm. When am I gonna come down? You're gonna have to figure it out, buddy. And that window of time is shrinking as IBW moves into the waning moments of this game one in Shin Grand Finals here, Shin Finals. Let me tell ya, uh, that's gonna be the last backup. Yeah. yeah. No more backups on the plane. No more chiefs in the plane either. Well, this is looking like the golden god of melee is just going to add. A, it's going to get all of the slime off of of its of its golden countenance. <laughs> golden what? Countenance. Countenance. Good know. word. Good it's word. Gonna, it's just going to go back to its perfection. Let me do one thing real quick. If you win the tournament, then it doesn't matter that you won from losers. Yeah. What do you think about that, viewers? Ready? Uh. I'm gonna do one thing real quick. I'm gonna do one thing real quick. For Here's slug. what I can tell you. Ooh, that's that's nice. If you're slug, you're feeling good about that. Uh, what I've noticed is that Nanagus keeps getting, like Cody's almost able to just instantly kill Nana at the beginning of like each um, each game. But he didn't this time, and I was like, uh -huh. okay, well, that's dope for slug. Ooh, ooh. You guys are going to be in for a surprise when the camera comes back on me. I'm, I'm helping Slug out right now. Nice. Okay. I'm voyaging into that realm that he's from to try to give him the power. And look at this. It's a lead. Give him the power, Tove. We love to I see the underdog put up a good fight. Oh, oh, that was so... Oh. I, I guess didn't it wasn't going to work, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. I think he wanted to grab the ledge there and then, like, start uh -huh. doing, like, I don't know, let's up down. But okay, still a, you know, a sizable lead for Slug. I was almost going to say comfortable, but it's never comfortable. In a post, in a post wobbling, post apocalyptic, mm -hmm. Berserk slash Mira slash Elden Ring, uh, DJ exactly. Khaled. What's it called? Khaled? Khaled is the realm? I don't know. That's what I said. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah you did. You said, Lans you said it In that landscape. Thank you. In Everybody knew what you meant. It's never comfortable. It's never comfortable. As soon as it's comfortable is the worst moment. Yes. Can't get comfortable. Okay. Whoa! Love that set to the side. That's crazy. What in the world? Yeah. Okay, this... I think we're going to 1-1. I think I can sort of safely say that now. I hope. Maybe I don't know anything. Okay, okay, okay. That's a trade with... Sometimes we don't know anything. The future, the especially, oh my goodness, you're there. <laughs> yes, dude. The realm. Oh, wow. That... Look at the black. Look at the eclipse. What a what an ominous visage. Yes. But this is the world that Slug finds himself fighting from every day of his life. That's right. In 2020. Even now, where it's 1-1 versus the golden god of melee. You just lost a set convincingly. 3-0. Well, you take the stock without getting hit, you're feeling better. You're feeling better. You're feeling better. Oh, Nada! 
Oh my god! Option coverage! Why Amanita? Said, I'll be on the stage. Back up. You take the ledge. Looking like Pewfat out there with one character. She, yeah. She did get up attack. She yeah, had that ledge. Nice. That was nice. Tofen Fresno. No, I'm not. If that's... You apologize to the residents of Central California right now. That's not called for. Some guy said I'm in Fresno. <laughs> Bob, well, have you ever been to Fresno? I have. A visit Dunk, I think. Yeah. Is, um, where's this? There's a school and in... No, that's Slow. That's not Fresno. But Slow and Fresno are close to each other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Fresno's all right. It's got, like, a uh, Jamba Juice. <laughs> that's dope. Yeah. I like that about it. Ooh! Oh. Ooh! Hey, please not lead. All right. What's the punish here? Oof. Cody, I will say, this game, um, surprisingly kind of, well, yeah, he wants to even this up, and I guess he's he's scrapping a lot right now, but I guess against against just Chief, you can kind of afford to do that against Sopo. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's an easy edge guard. And now I want to see Cody, if he wants to even this up, I think probably take a little bit more reserved of an approach, but yeah, watch out for those up airs. Wise man named Drug Fox once told me, like, in this matchup in neutral, you're really, oh, okay, that you see right there. You're really looking for when you're when you're playing the the, the verticality game, the platform game. Oh my god! Whoa, that's big. That's yeah, it keeps it's happening for me a lot too, but I don't mm -hmm. think that it's. I think it's just our view. I feel it. Yeah, you want to watch out for that wave dash jab. That's like something you just have to space outside, and when you're in the air, they're always gonna be looking for that up air. Oh, jeez. Wow, Slug saying to IBDW just when you thought you'd oh. won. Just when you thought you'd won. Winning oh. four in a row. The Eclipse. The Eclipse. It's time. Oh, that spot dodge could have been everything. I thought Slug was going to shield grab that. Okay. Oh, he bet it all. Oh! He whipped him with his hammer a couple times. <laughs> I mean... Dang, was that worth it? He was only at 39. No, no, was, it was definitely not worth it. That was, it. That like, was a that was an I have three stocks right now and I'm just <laughs> I'm just yeah, over this. I'm yeah, over I this guess right so. Now. Give me Nana back. No, it was not it was not very slug. It was not, not on really. brand. Though. Yeah, it was not on brand. Yeah, he forgot about the He forgot like, about the moment you get the moment you feel comfortable, he forgot. It's a box! Look like at that. what if That's probably back? What if you just yep. get shine? What if you oh, just no. get shine this next stock? What if it's what if it all gets taken from you, Slug? Slug. What if it is episode twenty-three of Berserk or whatever that, whatever that episode is? You need the no grip spoilers. Right now. You know you should go watch it. It's Shin Grand Finals and backup. Shin Grand Finals, Shin, dude. No! I'm Shin! telling you. Oh. How, what do you do here, it, dude? It's it, it's even. It's even. Yeah, the karmic seeds have already been oh, planted. Oh no! Tell. Oh, Slug, I... D d uh, oh, God, and he's gonna... Oh, my God, I'll throw up here. Oh, my God! Look at look at how Cody's playing right now. Oh, a, wait a minute. Oh, no, oh. it's not gonna hit. Uh, Ops attack. Oh, he just ripped it. Slug! Slug oh, lets no, him rip, the dude. Die, dude. Oh. See? It had to all be taken. It had to all be taken at that very moment. When you threw away that chief doing some crazy, <laughs> I don't even know what. You know what that was? That was accountability. It was a cruel universe. Yes, yes. Cody, Cody held him accountable. So that, yes, that was accountability. Hmm. We do live in a cruel world, Tove. <sighs> it can hurt. Flip side, man, that's gotta be feel. That's gotta feel good if you're Cody. Jeez, Louise. Yeah, man, that's gotta be a breath of uh, a sigh of relief. Okay, but Slug starting it up the way he needs to. Back, back to the grit, back to the grind. And he's up in stock again. This is how the last game started. Whoa, big knockdown! Dang. Icy's dash tag is a crazy move. That move is uh, it will calm one to grab. It'll knock you down at zero. It's it's bonkers, <laughs> but. It's punishable. What's he got here? Looking for attack. It goes back up. Yep. Peace. Peace. <laughs> nice and easy. And those up smashes hurt super bad. I feel like uh, climbers die 
when does Chief die? He's dying at like 85 or something off the up smash. Yeah. What? But Fox sometimes dies at 40 something if you just get clocked with a forward smash with terrible DI in the middle of the stage. Mm hmm. Do you oh. realize that Cody just died at 40 from a smash attack? Yeah. I guess you're a Fox player, so you know what it is. You know what it's like. That doesn't happen much to Falcon. Sometimes I, I versus mean, Mark. It can, right? Oh, I see. Sometimes, yeah, yeah, sometimes yeah, I see. Mark will just end you at 35% with a forward smash. But Peach. Okay, what is this knockdown? Cody. All right. This is neck and neck. Yeah, one stop, one stop for Slug, one stop for Cody. One stop for Slug, one stop for Cody. But Slug's had that percent lead. He's using the bear to just keep him out. I mean, the neutral, the neutral is is, is awesome uh, from Slug. It needs to be needs to be stated. I just I think his neutral is amazing. Oh wow! Oh, he actually used a decent blizzard. He never decent blizzards. At least he hasn't really been. I guess you don't need to use it that much against Fox. But dang, just like that, backup's dead, and mm. Cody could Cody could oh, <gasps> big down smash. There you go. Yeah, that was sick. I haven't seen that from Slug. I feel like Slug. Okay, answering right back. But I do feel like Slug is down. very. He's very good about masking his uh, his trump cards. You know, I feel like he's really good about like. Like he doesn't overuse a certain kill option to the point where you know to look out for it. He kind of like he'll wait until the perfect moment. But oh my Backup's god! Dead? Backups! Oh, she's back! Oh she's... my goodness! From the clutches, the last grain of the sands of hell. But this oh. looks like maybe over in one second. Okay, could go either way. A grab here will do it. He's gonna go to the ledge. Le oh my god! Ooh, that down, down tilt. Okay. Backups Mono, off the top. Mono. And now the Bell's upper kill moves. That's it! Yeah. Fox versus Ice Climbers, it turns out. No, I should have said that was a that was a really, really tight set. Slug is a beast for challenging the golden god of melee, uh Cody Schwaub, IBDW. I don't know what Cody's last name is. It's no, um, you said it. That was it. Dang, I crushed it. Yeah. I've just seen it so many times, I guess, over the years. So, yeah, Slug beating IBDW in a set, beating Hungrybox. Dang. Wow. With Ice Climbers out of the post-apocalypse. Yeah, what a performance. What a performance. Didn't close it out. Yeah, it's tough because I'm so proud of Slug, but at the same time, I know that he's going to he's gonna think about that game three. That set two game three. That Shin Grand Finals game three was a... That's a that was a hard pill to swallow. That That's what happens when you pick ice climbers in a post. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Slug chose this fate. Slug chose to live in this brutal landscape. Oh. Crazy. And IBDW did provide accountability. Wow. That's brutal to have that, uh, like two stocks ripped from you like that. Because it really does feel like, no, 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 no. This is my game. It's my game. <laughs> it's mine. Oh. It gets ripped from you, Joe. He went off stage. I can't believe he went for an offstage edge guard, man. Oh. Good stuff to Slug. Good stuff to real good stuff to Cody, though, of course. IBW two weeks in a row, the East Coast uh champion. Don't go anywhere, chat. Of course, West Coast is coming up. If you thought, if you thought, uh, if you thought you ain't seen nothing yet, because we're gonna have Kodoran and the Crimson Blur. Ooh. I am gonna be tuned in all night. I can't wait to hear. I, I I love their dynamic, you know, a really, really just awesome storied uh, Marth player who I think is just, you know, really prevalent and relevant in the current in the current landscape of Super Smash Brothers Melee and Kadoran are going to be commentating. Um, can't wait for that. Plup is entered. That's nuts. Holy smokes. When is when when do we get Plup? That's so that's that that's kind of that's kind of my speaking of gods, game one. make a game one. My goodness Stream gracious. It. Yeah. Please let us watch that. Okay, we're gone, but we'll be back probably next week. We've been doing probably these next week. a couple weeks in a row. Yeah, yeah. So um, definitely hit that. Thank you for button. watching. Hit it, hit uh -huh. it. And I'll have some crazy. I'll probably be in a new location. 
right? Probably. Yeah, but do your best to uh, navigate out of the realm of hell, the hell realm that you found yourself into. Well, I I will try. Thank yeah, you. So I'll make that long. Hopefully you have a safe trip back. And thank you again for watching. I'll see you again next week. That's right. For Training Mode Tuesdays.